Good morning, everyone. We are on our seventh day, our last day of the cruise, and it is a rough one. There are some rough waters going on outside. I'll get some footage of that. Today is another partial sea day. We actually dock in Victoria, British Columbia. That'll be at five o'clock, and then we're there for, I think, four hours or so. If you don't know, that's because of the act that was passed for cruising that said that uh, you'd have to visit an international stop. Um, so this port is a result of that. So we have to stop at Vancouver Island to be in compliance with this law. So we're gonna stop by Victoria. Not sure if we're going to do much um, in Victoria. We do wanna see the Empress Hotel. It looks like a really beautiful hotel. So we might check that out. Maybe grab something to eat like a beaver tail or something. Um, and then just get back on the ship and have dinner and close out the night and close out the cruise. And today's gonna be a pretty boring day, honestly. We have lunch plans at Izumi, and then uh, we're gonna be packing and getting ready to go. We also signed up for Port Valet, which is something that the city of Seattle does, which is uh, you basically get your luggage tags for your airline printed out. You leave it out just as normal for any cruise, except that your baggage goes directly to the airport and gets checked in for your flight. So we're gonna test that out and see uh, if that works or not. Otherwise, we'll just be checking in periodically today. We'll check in when we're at Victoria as well. Yeah, it is a cloudy, foggy, rainy day today. Uh, the seas are actually not as rough as they were yesterday, uh, but it's still pretty crazy out there. If it's like everything else, probably not. Very. But then it might be the one thing that is. I don't know. <laughs> Like super close. Whoa, bird. Alrighty, we have ported at Victoria and we are now in line trying to uh, get off the ship. So we shall see uh, what Victoria, Canada is like. It'll be our second time in Canada officially where we've not just in a holding tank. This is our little aquarium over in Vancouver. So, yeah. What? Recently. When was the other time? Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. Charlottetown, the west coast of Canada. Let's say the west coast. It is uh, rainy and wet. It's just a slight sprinkle but it's still pretty wet. 
We are going to be entering Canada. No, it's not. It's not raining so hard, but you need it. All right, so we just bought our tickets to get on the shuttle. It's about $15 round trip to go down. It's about seven minute shuttle ride, apparently. Um, yeah, we just paid with our credit card and then we got a stamp on our wrist and let, lets us on board the shuttle. Last shuttle leaves at 9 p.m. So definitely want to get back before then in order to make all aboard time. I'm gonna see it's a lot warmer today than it was yesterday i don't feel any bitter cold so this is uh this is more like a tropical monsoon <laughs> for victoria and i hope uh, i guess if you just came from alaska i hope it's warmer than alaska <laughs> oh, you can hear the for whom the bell tolls that is the dutch carillon to our left hand Walking side up the street just turn off get off the bus turn left and walk straight up that will take you to um the beginning of old town now old town uh, ends at Chinatown and you can walk to Chinatown in 15 to 20 minutes so you can take in the breadth of Old Town quite easily in about 20 minutes and then make your way back here All right, we have found our way to beaver tails. Hopefully we'll get some beaver tails and maybe some poutine. I mean, we're in Canada, so we should probably get some poutine. That sounds like a, a thing you do in Canada. Although I never, I didn't do it in Vancouver and I didn't do it in Prince Edward Island either. So all the poutine I've actually had have been in uh, the US. It's pretty sad. I need, I need more poutine. Should I try the beaver tail first? Or the poutine Whatever. first? Whatever I'll try like. the poutine first. Oh, there's lots of cheese curds in here. Oh. Here we go. Ooh, it's hot. <laughs> that is so good. It's so unbelievably good. One more. Okay. There's a cheese pull. It's gooey, it's salty. The french fries are crunchy. So good. We're gonna get some, okay? I don't even know how to eat this. Carefully. I think you hold it in the Should thing. Yeah. It'll okay. just crush the whipped cream, which is fine. Okay. Yeah. All right, well, we're gonna go for it. Don't need paper. Mm. Oh. oh. That's awesome. The dough is like kind of fluffy and light, and the chocolate and chocolate sauce and Oreos and whipped cream is amazing. Oh yeah. Definitely uh, recommend some beaver tails and some poutine.
wrapping it up in uh, Victoria. Um, we just took a stroll down Government Street. Just did some shopping along the shops here. Uh, of course, you saw we stopped at Beaver Tails. That was delicious. Highly recommend going to Beaver Tails, getting some poutine and some beaver tails. Again, it's like a, like a crispy dough, a um, little kind of fluffy on the inside um, with different toppings. The classic one just has cinnamon and sugar on it. And we had the one of the specials, which was a mud pie that had um, chocolate sauce, whipped cream, and uh, Oreos, and that was amazing. The poutine, though, was the highlight. The gravy was nice and salty, and the, um, the cheese curds were gooey, so definitely definitely stop by beaver tails and then like i said we just did some shopping and now uh, we're getting ready to head back onto the ship the shuttle situation was really cool it was um, 15 dollars for round trip they take you right in front of the empress hotel and then uh, they cycle through every 15 minutes and then take people back to the ship so that was cool it was very convenient very easy it's right there when you get off the ship so it's an easy way to get to downtown and then you can walk kind of at your uh, you know at your own pace and then go back so definitely recommend going to Victoria we, it is a just a short time here though so we didn't have time to do uh, very much else um, we also wanted to stop by uh, back to the ship so we could have dinner and um, see our wait staff again before we leave So they hired a chauffeur. They hired a 17-year-old boy named George Stoner. Drive them around. Francis tried to open up an architecture firm, but the Architecture Society in England said, you're not qualified as an architect. You can't practice here. So Francis turned to the drink a little too much. And when Francis turned to the drink, Alma turned to George. Uh, yep, that's right. She started to have an affair with the chauffeur. <laughs> Eventually, Francis found out about the affair. We uh, just got off the shuttle and we are headed back to the ship. Just got through the uh, security check where they checked our badges or our sea pass cards and now it's back onto the ship sad times last port last time last night sad times but there's the ship again the quantum of the seas all right so we are wrapping up our video for victoria british columbia and really wrapping up the cruise we have disembarkation day tomorrow it's gonna be a pretty early morning we're gonna get up and maybe have some breakfast and then we're supposed to be out of the room by 8 a.m and our time to come off the ship is about 9 a.m so we shall see how that works out but for today just to wrap up we had a good time in um Victoria, British Columbia, the two shuttle drivers we had were super informative of different parts of a history for the area. So that was really, really nice. And then after we got back, we went to the main dining room at the Grand and had dinner. This time for dinner, we kept it very simple actually. Courtney had the Mediterranean tapas platter, which had pita bread, hummus, tzatziki, and a Greek salad. And then I had two orders of shrimp cocktail. And then for the main course, Courtney had the autumn turkey dinner, which is basically Thanksgiving dinner. And I had the spicy coconut curry with a chicken. And that was delicious. I don't eat a lot of curries. Usually the, the flavors are 
not ones that I generally like, but this one was spicy, had a cumin-y taste to it. It was a really good thick sauce and the chicken was well seasoned with some jasmine rice. It also came with raita and some roti. That was really, really fun. Also really delicious. The mint yogurt contrasted really well with the curry. And then for dessert, I just had the chocolate ice cream. Courtney had the cheese plate and also the peach tart. Trifle. Peach trifle. Overall, our last dinner was really nice. Again, got to see uh, Jose and Happy, who are an awesome wait staff. Jose is amazing. He's again from the Philippines. He's Visayan, just like my family. And Happy is from South Africa. And she's actually returning back home to South Africa tomorrow. So that's really, really cool. We spent a, a big part of the day packing because we knew that we had to get our luggage out by 10 p.m. So we packed away the last remaining touristy items we bought and things like that just to finalize and then put our luggage out in the hallway for the 10 o'clock deadline so that they can take them down to wherever they take them because they know they do and then they take them off the ship as soon as we get in. The saddest sight is all the luggage lined up in the hallways. That means the cruise is coming to an end. And that pretty much wraps up the day for today, which was our seventh day on the cruise. If you like this video, please hit the like button, hit subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get notified of new videos on our channel. And if you did like it, please share it with your friends and family. And as always, no matter where you find yourself on this journey, please take a moment, however brief, to take a closer look at life. Bye for now.